you will know that Yahweh is their power. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the Brother Ties of War, back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this one is going to be a very quick lesson. I had a few, I had a, a title in my head as I woke up. And uh, the words were, uh, you will know that Yahweh is their power. All right. And that is this scripture that I want to read here in Ezekiel, the 39th chapter. All right. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, meaning Yahweh is the father and Yahweh Shai is the son. All right. So we say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which Bahashim means in the name. And Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to show the world that he is the Israelites. All right. Starting with the elect, the prophets. He is their power. All right. And how he's going to do that. First off, he's doing it now by his word, which the scriptures speak on the spirit of his mouth. And then he says, by the brightness of his coming. You know, when the, when the world get the witness, how shall I come back with the mighty angels? All right. The world is going to witness and know that Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai is our power. And he is truly, all right, the one that governs the universe. So let me just quickly read and uh, just touch on a few points here. This is Ezekiel 39 and, uh, and uh, 21. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed and my hand that I have laid upon them. So the house of Israel shall know that I am Yahweh, their power from that day and forward. All right. So by prophecy, as the Lord told us, all right, by the way things are going to play out, it's going to give that glory. All right. That honor. Unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, the glory is no longer going to be of E because we're living in Esau's glory. You know, his power is technology, his power is deception. But the world is going to witness who's the true and living power, all right, who set up these Edomites, okay, who made us his chosen. So verse 22, so the house of Israel shall know that I am Yahweh their power from that day and forward. Because when the Lord destroy Babylon the great, the world is going to know. All right. Two thirds, they're going to know. The scriptures say they must know it after death by pain. All right. So some got to be put to death in a grievous fashion in order to, to, uh, to know this truth. All right. So verse 23, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me. Therefore, hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. And we did see the reason why we are in these conditions. All right. Which are you so-called Negroes and Latinos? You native and Seminole Indians, you so-called West Indians, you so-called Haitians, all right? You are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. And the reason why we are in these conditions that we are in captivity, all right, is because we sinned against the Heavenly Father. We broke the law, statutes, and commandments. So what the Lord did, he put us into captivity under our enemies. And right now, the captivity we are in is under Esau which is our last captivity, all right? Second Edris 6, chapter, you know, with Edris speaking to the Lord. He said, uh, when Esau fall, Jacob is up next that followeth, all right? So we know that this is the, this is the end, and this is that time, that window, 
whenever the Lord sees fit to fulfill the rest of his prophecies, we know in this lifetime that the Lord is going to show the world that he is the power, all right, that governs the universe. He's going to show the heathen that he is our righteous power. He chose us, okay? He chose a people to himself. And he's going to put, he's going to show the world that these people are above those people. All right. So anyway, verse 24, it says, according, um, according to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. So this is why we went through so much pain and agony. All right. So much destruction, even to this day. Because the Lord hath hid his face from us. He even took away our identity. All right. But now he has given it back. And just like he gave us back his name. So the Lord hid his face from us. And we wasn't able to even call on him. Because we didn't know him anymore. But now the Lord has given it back. All right. And establishing us as his people again. And this is why you see the prophets. The men of the Lord. Okay throughout the four corners of the world prophesizing. All right. Verse 24, according to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, now will I bring the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. The whole house of Israel is the southern kingdom to the northern kingdom. All right. And he says, I will be jealous for my holy name. All right. Because we're married to the Lord. Okay. The Lord is, uh, uh, we're joint unto the Lord. Okay. The scriptures say, I uh, can't think of it right now, word for word. But the Lord said he do this for his name's sake. All right. Not for us, but for his holy namesake. It says, and I will be jealous uh, for my holy name. All right. Because what Esau is doing, he wants to put that all, you know, in our body. He wants to put that all on us so that we could be joint unto him forever. All right. He wants to make us his uh, permanent slave. All right. But he could never have enough. Not only want us to be his slaves, but he wants to also uh, be our power, be our God. So it says, and I will be jealous for my holy name. After that, they have borne their shame and all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people. And gather them out of their enemies' lands and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am Yahweh, their power, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them any more there. All right, so the, hey, hey, the Lord wants credit. For, for why we are in these conditions. He wants credit for when he deliver us, all right, from out of these conditions. So the Lord wants all his credit and he's going to get it. See, these Edomites, they want to take away and eliminate the Lord out the picture. But the Lord is coming to make his, his, his name known in the earth once and for all. And he's going to do that through his people, starting with his son, his only begotten son, which is Yahweh Shai. So let me continue. Verse 29. Neither will I hide my face anymore from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith Yahweh. All right. So that's it. I know I just hope this lesson was edifying. Uh, that was on my mind. Uh, the Lord will show the Lord will let the world know. That he is our power. All right. The world is going to witness that the Lord's people are the Israelites. 
and only his people are the Israelites. All right. Because he's going to glorify them over the other nations. Okay. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.